Uh, what day is today? So it's October the 14th. Yeah, what's up? It's like 7.30 right now and it's already dark. The fall, right? Anyways. Um, right now I'm just coming out of my aunt's apartment. Oh, house. And got some mantels. And some imágenes de Jesucristo. And all that jazz. Because um, my great grandfather passed away yesterday morning. And yeah, it's a little heavy to just drop that in the middle of a vlog. That's what's going on. I'll explain more as soon as I get stuff in the truck. Okay, so yeah, uh, a lot of things to update my video on. So first of all, let's start off in chronological order. My father's away for like three weeks. It's October the 14th. He arrived yesterday and he went to Ecuador. Some some promise he had with the church or whatever, or like one of his friends for the church. And he's doing that and then like fixing some stuff like, you know, organize, organizing papeles, organizando los terrenos, stuff like that. Typical Ecuadorian stuff. If I haven't mentioned it by now, I'm, all, I'm Ecuadorian, proud of it. And anyways, yeah, he's there in our, his hometown and with my grandmother, with my grandma, yeah, his mom, he's there. So, and I'm in charge. I'm trying to keep this company going for like, until he comes back with like three weeks time. Right now it's fall cleanup, so it's a little... Everything's going to be a little backed up. But anyways, I made it through for the first week. The first full week. Well, the first week. And a half week of work. Like. And, um... Yeah. And as soon as he arrived in, e in Ecuador, we got the news that my grand his grandfather passed away. My great-grandfather. 95 years old. Jeronimo Villa. That was his name. It will always be his name. That will be my gran great-grandfather. And I'm blessed to have ever met him i have a few photos i don't know about those up right now but i'm gonna do this real quick there's re i really have to get this stuff to my great to my grandfather's house because they're doing a rosary and yeah my grandfather she alone well he's got his kids his late his daughters to here to help him and his daughter one of his daughters is busy right now with because she has not she has a like little store she has to tend to she doesn't have anyone to help Went in the family i guess and yeah, uh, I just got the stuff there and it's been pretty busy. So I know I, I said I wanted to make this stuff cinematic. The only thing I got cinematic was the video about the basketball, but we'll, we'll get back to it as soon as I can. I'll try to, I'm trying to just get this done real quick. I'm very exhausted. It's 7.30ish. I finished work at seven just to get, just come back to this. And my, and my mom has also gotten, she's down for the count as well. She had a little op, minor operation and she's gonna be down for like at least three weeks as well. So it's just me and my sister holding down the fort, holding down these dogs, trying to hold down the family, trying to hold down the business. It's getting to me a little bit and I'm trying to live my own life as well. But you know, three weeks is, three weeks is very little. So uh, yeah, that's a, that's a minor update. Hopefully I can get to this in more detail later, but for now, that's my update. So, um. I'm here working on some Jordan 11s. I bought these when I went to Brooklyn. What was it called? Urban Jungle. They actually had these nice pair of Jordan 11 Pantone Lows or Baby Blues. I forgot what they were called. I remember I tried to get them back in the day, but couldn't. They sold out quick. I don't know. Bots, Flitch. I don't know. I couldn't get a pair. I was trying to get one for my girlfriend at the time. Couldn't even get one for her. But now I found one. I found a pair. But obviously, since I bought it at a, a thrift store, which is what Urban Jungle is, but it's actually you know, weirdly good, good stuff, like great stuff, almost everything. And I found a pair of Jordan 11, no, not Jordan, Jordan 11 Phantom Blue Blues. This one right here. Laces are kind of stuck, kind of uh. And then it's got some trash on the bottom, okay? But the price was too good, it was like 75 bucks. It was $75, I don't think it's in the tag. The tag's still in here. Look, let me show you. Right there. 75 I don't know how, well that's coming out on camera but this is the one this is the one that was on display and I just could not pass it up I think uh, looking at the tread on the bottom it still had plenty of life in it barely worn but the sides the side wall the mid the midsole of the shoe terrible it is all sharpie black for some reason 
And that's probably why he donated or got rid of the shoe because only one of his shoes is like that. Not both. This one's all fine, dandy. Still got trash on the bottom. But this one is all messed up because it's a permanent marker. So we're gonna try to fix that. Okay, so I have acetone, which is what they use in the nail polish remover. And I'm gonna try to dab some of that onto a rag or a paper towel and clean up all that. Oh snap, and it's working. I don't know if you can kind of see it. So let's hopefully it doesn't take off too much. Gotta make sure I don't get it on the leather. I don't know how well it's gonna come off, but it's gonna take a while. What's up vlog? Today is October the 20th. Um, it's been a week since I shot that last video about my dad leaving, my grandpa passing away. It's been a week since he passed away. And I guess it's been, it's been some havoc. It's been havoc. Obviously when someone passes away, you get the family together, but sometimes there isn't all, everyone isn't always on the same page, but that's every family to an extent. And I pride myself and am very grateful that I have a nuclear family and a somewhat extended family that are very close with each other. I'm happy about that. Um, however, my great my grandpa's siblings don't get along with each other. They all have different personalities. That's to be expected. Nothing wrong with that. Obviously, we all have different beliefs, different customs, and different, you know, different mannerisms. So they don't always get see eye to eye on everything but that has led to some you know some uh disagreements so we'll say disagreements and obviously the finance part of it because no one was really prepared even though we should have been we should have been prepared for my great grandfather to pass away his name was geronimo villa yeah geronimo villa yeah that's basically it and the other part of the havoc well, i mean that wasn't the, fa the that part wasn't that bad just some disagreements the second part for me is that my mom is under literally that day also went underwent surgery and she's out for the count and everyone during the service was always asking about my mother but she's not she's recovering she's doing okay but she couldn't walk for a little bit she still can't walk it's only been a week and now that was annoying because i just gave everyone the same answer and everyone still wanted to keep asking the same question um what next I'm here working by myself today and probably for the rest of the cup. I mean, I worked uh, myself this whole freaking week. They buried him on Tuesday and I tried to get some houses done because I knew I was going to be behind. And my worker got jumped. The guy who I asked to help me, he got jumped so he doesn't have a phone. I can't even contact him. He came to my house the other day, tried to tell me the situation. Obviously, I told him, okay, fine, we can't communicate. So I'll be at this spot where I usually pick you up at this time showed up at that time nowhere to be found and i'm here alone my dad's in ecuador i gotta hold it down right now it just leaves thankfully it just leaves i prepared i planned ahead and knew it was going to be a rough week if i just had to do it myself and one other person i kind of in the back of my mind i thought okay he's not really dependable so if i do have to do it myself i'm just gonna blow leaves and let's just cut everything as low as i can so the grass doesn't grow as high and now it's exactly what I thought. It's just leaves. The grass isn't growing because today, for example, is October the 20th. And where I live, it's 40 degrees. 40, actually 39 degrees, but we'll just back it up to 40. <sighs> and I'm exhausted. I went to the gym yesterday at 5 in the morning because we're doing a rosary now for the rest of the week. It's called the Novena, where we do a rosary for nine days straight. So right after work, I'm going straight to that rosary, and then I go straight to bed after I walk the dogs. <laughs> and by that point, it's like 10.30, and I'm exhausted. I'm going from 7 to 7, or at least to, to, uh, till, till it gets dark. Because it gets dark here around 7, oh, 6.30-ish. It's pitch black, as black as it's going to be for the rest of the night. And I'm just here ranting right now. I'm 
in the in the truck. Um, I wanted to say all this because I think this is. I think I mentioned before that last time was a new beginnings, but this is like a rising action for me because it's only week one, and I'm have to I'm gonna have to try to hold it down till November the third, at least November the third. And I want to keep going to the gym, but I don't have the time anymore. The only time I could find is going in the morning. I haven't gone during the week because of everything that's going on. I went on Sunday, but that's and I only went Sunday, and then yesterday, which was Wednesday, I got to do one more, which is my pull day. It should be my pull day tomorrow. And yeah, that one's the more exhausting one for me. And I did leg day, which is terrible, but you know, it has to be done. So I think if I can get through this week, I can plan to go earlier next week with work. I can get this all done. Uh, I had another video planned before this, but you know, things don't always go as planned. And I'm adjusting on the fly. That's basically what's been the theme of this week, adjusting on the fly. As best you can, preparing for the worst and hoping for the best, preparing for the worst. So wish me the best of luck. I know it's been five minutes. I'll get into more detail later when I have more time. Hopefully I have more time. I have to find time. What's up vlog? I'm out here at one of my clients' houses. Well, actually two houses. So it's looking like a mess. You can kind of see the driveway. There's just one driveway. It's down a hill. So there's plenty more of this going on. Hold on, let me turn the camera around. So yeah, this is the entrance. There's, it goes downhill. So there's more of this. And this is one of the houses that I gotta do. Up there as well. And then there's a the backyard. And of course, this is still part of the front entrance to this house. It's a Y entrance. That house is also our, one of our clients. So I gotta do that, plus this out there. And there's there's a little bit of a lawn up, up there and then some behind the house. Thankfully it's, not, it's a little bit of a hill, so it goes down, so that'll be easy. But, oh boy, it's 10.45 right now. And I'm gonna try to do this all before, hopefully one, because I still have like eight more houses to do. They're not all this bad, but I waited till the last day to do this because I knew it was going to be like that. It was going to be bad in terms of leafage. So, wish me luck. Okay, so I got it done. Okay, let me just pick up the brake. Let's show the progress. Okay, so I just finished the driveway. That long ass driveway. Actually, let me get it on video. That was already there. Shoot. I have a picture. I'm supposed to picture right now of how it was before. So yeah, oh, that's clean. All those plants and bushes and paxandras and stuff like that, I'm leaving, we usually leave all the leaves in there and in the rocks. I'm really just supposed to clean the lawn area and the walkway area, as you saw in the driveway area in front of the house. All that was all covered in leaves and we got it done. And it's an hour, it's 1.33. So it took me about, what was that? Well, I had a lunch too, so two hours and a half to get it all done. Uh, I'm very, very proud that I'm getting it done. I'm technically still on pace, so uh, your luck is rubbing off. 